Hey everybody. So today is Friday and it's time for family movie night. Yeah, we switched things around this week uh, because of the holiday and I really wanted to do the live stream on Monday. Uh, so we have family movie night on Friday this week and we're starting off a month where I am talking about recommendations from my patrons and uh, I would really appreciate if you check out the uh, Patreon. Uh, it is a great way that you can support the podcast, support what I do, and I try to give lots of fun perks uh, to anybody who signs up for the Patreon. We have monthly uh, movie watch-alongs and Q&As from talent uh, involved in making movies, so you get to see the behind the scenes uh, in, uh, in what goes on to make an actual movie. So that's really fun. And also we have my AFI passions project, which I'll put a link. If, uh, you want to check out, we did an introduction with one of my friends, uh, uh Zeta short, uh, where we did an introduction to the AFI passions list. Uh, and each week I have a new review for one of the films on the list for the patrons only. So there's lots of really cool perks and, uh, including if you, uh, sign up for a certain tier, you get to pick a movie that I will watch for family movie night. And uh, I'm really excited about today's pick. It's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. This is from patron Megan. And so thank you so much for supporting the podcast. And uh, I'm really excited to get to talk about this movie. And this is actually the second time this week that I talk about this movie because in our 1989 Disney uh, recap ranking, uh, I, I talked about it there as well with Stanford. So that's really fun. Definitely want to check that out. And I found that this movie held up so well. And that isn't always the case for me with uh, with movies from the 80s that you know are nostalgic when I go back and watch them sometimes they don't really hold up that well I kind of felt a little bit that way with Goonies uh it was just I don't know not as charming as I remembered it I still enjoy it overall but but uh there's just some of those movies and particularly the action movies from the 80s that I don't have nostalgia for uh when I've gone to watch them for blind spot I haven't really enjoyed them very much so it's it's a tricky thing uh going back and watching some of those uh films from the 80s and seeing if they hold up this is one that I think absolutely does I really 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 enjoyed it I I think that almost every aspect of it holds up except for the neighbor uh, big russ uh i just feel like his his character is unnecessarily hostile i don't understand why he is such a jerk to everybody his wife to the kids and they, i'm not sure exactly if that's supposed to we're supposed to find that endearing uh i don't know so that's that is one character that i think doesn't really work and I think if they were going to do an actual remake, they've had sequels. If they were going to do a remake, I think they would definitely change his character. I, I, I also think they definitely wouldn't have him smoking, although it does make for a pretty intense scene in, you know, when they come across one of the cigarette butts. And uh, there's lots of action in the movie. Uh, and some of it, it looks a little bit hokey, but I think that's actually kind of charming. Like when they are riding the bumblebee, uh, you can see like the green screen and everything, but I think that that actually is kind of fun and charming. Uh, the sort of old school special effects uh, are appealing in it. And uh, you've got some like sibling dynamics. You've got some romance uh, that is nice. I think the the kid actors, the, the girl seems a little old to me to be playing. She's to be playing a, uh, what she's supposed to be 16. She seems older than that, but that's always the case in these movies, but uh, I, I still enjoy overall the dynamic between all four of the kid actors. I think they do a really good job. And there's some really fun set pieces. Like I just love the whole setup of, of uh, when he is in the um, cereal bowl, that is really fun. Uh, and, uh, and the whole sequence with the lawnmower, that's pretty intense and well done. And uh, when they get super excited about the um, the whoopie pie, uh, that <laughs> that's that's a fun sequence. I, there's something kind of I don't know escapist about when you're that age being in a whole new world, but it also being like part of your uh, 
your regular world and having to figure out the solution of having to be saved and and be rescued and everything. I think it all is very exciting and very fun. I also think that Rick Moranis is perfectly cast as the dad and the inventor in this movie is Mr. Slinsky. I think it's the last name. I really think that he is perfect. He's like just nerdy enough to be believable, to be making this kind of invention and uh, his expressions uh, all the way along. Uh, when he sees the, when he sees the kids, when he sees his chair, his sofa, I, I think that all of that is really good. And like I said, I just think he's perfectly cast in this role. Just found it funny and sweet and charming and exciting. I just think this is a great family film. And one, like I said, from the 80s that I think really holds up well. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, I think give it a chance. It's on Disney+. Plus. I think you'll very much enjoy it. And uh, let me know what you think uh, of it. I would be curious. And make sure to check out the uh, ranking that we did on Wednesday. I think you'll enjoy that as well of the 1989 Disney films. And uh, please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And check out all of my Family Movie Night reviews, over 300 at this point. And uh, I'm really proud of the series. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please subscribe to the channel and also check out all my content over at Hallmarkies. And make sure to check out the Patreon and have your chance to have a pick for Family Movie Night and all the other great perks. I would really appreciate it. So thanks so much. And we'll talk to y'all later. Bye, everyone.